Hotep Senu Hena Senut Itzi and Sebait Medunecher Ren I Shaka Ndugu Kemet Today we are looking at the word or the name Hathor. You have the Louvre Museum artifact reference B7 on the left of your screen. You have the arrow so you can see how the symbol looks like when it is um, when you have the hieroglyphic transcript. And it is the Gardener reference O10, which is actually made up of two glyphs. The O6 glyph, which alone stands for het or hut, meaning domain or temple. And additionally, the glyph G5, which alone stands for her or heru. And that's what the Greeks called Horus. So the combination of those two give us the glyph Oten, which is Het Heru. You might see transliterated as Het Heru or Hut Heru. The U sound is transliterated with the letter W. So Het Heru means domain of Horus or temple of Horus. Finally, just for the record, when you look at the artifact on the left of your screen, underneath the Hathor or Het Heru glyph, right at the bottom you have a scepter. This is the Was scepter. It was shown in uh, one of the previous video and I told you that we could not really see the bottom of the scepter. Now here you can see it. The glyph is in full. Left of the scepter, the Was scepter, you have the loaf of bread, the X1, the reference X1, loaf of bread, which stands for the sound T. So Was plus the sound T, that's Waset. Finally, right at the bottom, you have the ideogram, which denotes a place. Waset is the name of a place which was actually at one point a capital in Kemet. Nowadays, Thebes, well, nowadays, it's not called Thebes now, but it was once called Thebes. So make sure to put some thumbs up to this video. Make sure to subscribe to my channel, which is Ma'at4 Elva. You have the full hieroglyphic sign list. The address is at the top right hand corner of your screen. Dua for watching. Stay safe, stay healthy, and I will definitely have a back at you later. Hotel.